Hey guys, what's up? It's AppOSX here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to install iPhoto on iOS 5.0.1. Now, if you remember, iPhoto does require you to install iOS 5.1, and doing so will cause you to lose your jailbreak on a device like an iPhone 4S or an iPad 2, and leave you unjailbroken until a new jailbreak comes out, which could take a very long time. So this shows you how to get the best of both worlds by installing iPhoto on iOS 5.0.1 and preserving your jailbreak. So let's go ahead and get started started the tutorial, but before that I do want to show you that iPhoto does work on my iPhone on iOS 5.0.1. So we launch up settings and we go to about, we can see that, I'm on, that I am on 5.0.1. We scroll over to iPhoto and as you can see I am in the iPhoto application. So you're going to need two things for this tutorial. You're going to need iFile or an equivalent that allows you to edit PLOS files and you're going to need to install a simple tweak from Cydia. It's free, it's from the Big Boss repo, so you don't need to add any sources or pay a dime for this tweak. The tweak essentially just prevents iPhoto from crashing. Now before you install iPhoto, and this will allow you to install iPhoto on 5.0.1, you need to go to iFile, and you're going to need to go to System, Library, go down to Core Services, and then go to systemversion.plist and open that with the text editor. This will essentially trick the app store that you have 5.1 installed on your device. We're going to go to this area where it says string and we're going to change this to 5.1. So we're going to delete that. Sorry if you can't see extremely well. We're going to change that to 5.1. Once you've changed it to 5.1, you need to respring your device. Now I've already done this tutorial, so I don't need to, but respring your device and then launch the app store and purchase iPhoto. It will allow you to download iPhoto and iPhoto will download and install on your device. But the problem is that when iPhoto is installed on 5.0.1, it crashes. So then you're going to need to go to Cydia and install a simple tweak that will prevent that from crashing. And I had the same problem. I couldn't get iPhoto to work, but then a tweak came out in Cydia today that prevents that from happening. So all you need to do is launch up Cydia and you will see a tweak called iPhoto 501 Fix. And as you can see, it's free. It's by, uh, I can't really read the author's name because it has a lot of different numbers and letters in there, but basically it just prevents iPhoto from crashing on 5.0.1. You install that tweak and you respring your device and then that's it. You can start using iPhoto on iOS, iOS 5.0.1 on an iPhone 4S, an iPad 2, whatever you want to call it, you can now use iPhoto on iOS 5.0.1. iPhoto is a great application, a great photo editor, and I definitely think it's one of Apple's better applications. So if this tutorial helped you, or if you really like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me, guys. I'm um, gonna appreciate it if you do give a thumbs up for this video. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter at iAppOSX. Add me on Game Center as AppOSX. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching.